What's up, y'all? HTG Brian back with Mowing Mondays. That's right, Lawn Mowing Simulator is back. Quick confession. I've been fighting one of my notorious sinus infections, presumably, for a couple of days. It's kind of come and gone. Uh, Saturday was real bad. Like, I had to go back to bed on Saturday. I just had a gnarly headache when I woke up. Things weren't. Uh, how they should have been. So I, I sorted that out. And then Saturday was pretty good. The rest of Saturday. Sunday was pretty good. I even went and saw my grandma. And then today I kind of woke up and I kind of had that case of the Mondays, you know, like my sinuses were kind of clogged up again. Um, you know, we're using our heater in our house. And I mentioned this before. I feel like there's something about the heater. We're right at the beginning of the line of where everything pushes through. And I feel like, I don't know. For some reason, I'm like allergic to it or something because I always seem to get these crazy sinus things. So I took some Advil, which doesn't really solve the sinus issue, but it sort of helps the head issue. So uh, that being said, uh, definitely trying to fight through it. Hopefully I'll be uh, good. Have some good karaoke for you and all of that. Um, pretty quiet premiere this morning. Not a lot of people hanging out prior to the stream. Uh, seems to become more and more uh, of a, of a <laughs> like a quiet, I don't want to call it a wasteland, but um, it's definitely uh, becoming more and more of a me and Chacho or me and Justin kind of a scenario. So I might reevaluate that. Um, and, and it's not because of anything other than like I could reallocate some of my time right? I could do things a little bit differently here, still do a little bit early, 30 minutes or so. But what I'm wondering is if I started at 930 versus nine, would it not put the notifications out until 10 then? Or, you know, like, is there a half hour delay? Like what's happening? I'm not exactly sure, to be honest with you. It used to put them out like right away, right? Now it's not seemingly doing that. More and more people are telling me that they're finding the stream through the actual link of like their sub box or coming to the channel page and finding it there. I don't know. You guys tell me. Um, all right. So mowing Mondays is back. I uh, have been obviously having a blast quite literally with power washing Sim. I did get to drop my power washer off on Friday. It's officially being fixed. I don't know when we'll see it, but uh, hopefully sometime this week. Uh, so I'll get to do that in real life. Uh, I was really excited and hoping to get to see the eco updates. The Lawn Mowing Simulator has released some some eco updates. I don't know if it's a paid DLC, if it's going to be free. It may be part of the base game, and I might see some of those updates or options for contracts soon. Uh, I tweeted out to them and said, when is the new DLC? And they said, oh, the DLC is already available. Good news. And I was like, oh, great. So I logged in this morning and I don't see it. So I don't know if they thought I meant like, and that's where maybe I was confused. Maybe the eco update is just part of the base game while the DLC was paid, which I think I paid for it. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't think I got it for free. I don't remember how I got it. Regardless, I got it. Um, and um, so I'm just kind of wondering, but there's no extra trophies. Like if, if you, if you back up here, there's no eco update trophies. So I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if anybody's got that info or not. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try to continue through this. As you can see, I've got a lot left as far as progress goes. Uh, you know, one of every kind of contract. That'll be easy. I mean, there's only so many contracts. I'm 66%. So that's not the long one. This one, look at this. Drive a total of 100 career miles. I'm only 55. I've streamed a lot. I've played a lot. 55%. It's only 55 miles. Just over halfway. Same with the contracts. 54%. Man. Got a lot of stuff. So I'm going to sort of be appropriately picking the litter contracts for me to kind of get through some of it, like when I can, because they're not always going to be there. Um, and then I'll likely be picking some of the shorter mows for me and sending my employees out. Now, I have some employees, if you guys remember, some of them like to take vacations when I wasn't approved. I never approved. I never. They never even asked. So uh, we'll have to work through some of that. And it's been like weeks, like weeks since I played this. It's been actually three months. I think July was the last time I streamed this. So uh, bear with me as I like fumble through the controls for the first couple of minutes. Uh, like I said, it's also Monday. So bear with me there too. Early notification squad today was Chacho, Justin, and Monster. Good to see you guys. Kim, good to see you. What's up? What's up? What's up? I don't know if you're still out there, but 
Good to see you on stream. Uh, Paige was out there too. What's up, Paige? Eh, is out there. What up, eh? Ben is out there too. What up, Ben? Justin says, oh, barely working. I won't tell your boss that. Uh, Dragon Girl was out there early too. What's up, Dragon? Uh, Teflon! Man, I hope you told your Miami Heat to take it easy on my my super starless blazers tonight. <sighs> Injuries are the worst. I know I was like flapping. Ah, oh, shit. Da-da. Yeah, Dame's still out. I don't know if he'll be back tonight or not. Anthony is out now, too. So that's two of our players. Um, so, yeah, definitely not great for my Blazers, uh, which they do play tonight at 530. Real late game for you guys. You guys start at 830 your time. That's like almost unheard of in the NBA. Almost all NBA games on the East start at 730. There are a couple that happen later on the West. But not usually. Uh, Kirsten's out there. What up, Kirsten? Whoa, big jump. All right, so we're almost at the bottom. Rob's out there. What up, Rob? That one dude's out there. What up, that one dude? Uh, Gaming with John's back. What up? Mike's out there. Good to see you, Mike. Matt's out there, too. Preston Bros Unite. Uh, let's see here. Did I get a haircut? Yeah, you've been you've been out for a minute. Um, I uh, This was part of my haircut and ensemble. I've actually, I actually got rid of this. Thank, thanks for noticing that, too. Uh, Emery's out there. What up, GPG? What up? Yeah, so uh, you know, I dressed up as a, a rapper a couple weeks ago, or well, I guess we, whenever Halloween was a week ago, um, and uh, I rocked the stash and stuff for a couple extra days, but I got rid of that. Wifey wanted me to keep it for a while, and then she said, "I want you to get rid of it, but I want it back." So like, I'm supposed to like go bare and then now let it fill in again. I don't know. She's got weird requests. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump in here. Uh, there is this too. This comes out tonight at nine. Got it downloaded early this morning. Looking forward to checking that out. We'll likely stream tomorrow pending this whole sinus thing. Like if I can make it through today, I will likely stream this tomorrow. I know tomorrow is usually an off day, but it is the release day officially but it is available tonight at 9 p.m. because I am out on the West Coast. And the game releases, for some whatever reason, are happening on East Coast midnight time. So uh, when it's midnight East Coast, it's only 9 o'clock here. And so, therefore, I'll be able to check it out. So Reese is stoked. He's going to be uh, ready to play it as soon as 9 o'clock happens. I will probably watch over his shoulder to get an idea of what like the first half hour hour looks like. Um, and then tomorrow I will hopefully jump into that. That's the plan anyways. And then Wednesday, we're back at gas station sim, uh, Thursday, I'll be working on some Lego star Wars stuff. Cause that's the only day I'll have this week if I stream tomorrow. Um, and then Friday, I'm hoping to finish up strong with some more apex play again. That's the plan. So yeah, uh, you know, long story short, um, Reese had a couple of boxes that needed to be checked and he got them checked. So we rewarded him with the Sonic game and you know the rule. If Reese buys, I tries. Technically I paid for it, but it is on his account um, and, and uh, it was his, his earnings, if you will. Sort of like a uh, uh, whatever, a reward for chores. Uh, drops Ninja Stink Bomb. Stink Bomb, bro. I wondered what was smelling in here. It was been you this whole time, Greg? Whew. Whew. Instead of poof, you used to say whoof. Because that's, that's what Stink Bomb, right? Whoof. Instead of poof. Whew. All right. I'm done. Let's go ahead and check out a contract. Um, I don't know how many employees I have these days. It looks like I've got one. And it's really laggy. Am I, uh, am I supposed to see? Okay, there we go. Um, all right. So we'll go here. Looks like there is a trash. So like I already said, I'm going to go ahead and take that one on just because I want to get through some contracts. And I haven't really figured out. We could probably look into this. Um, if I assign him to this... And he goes and does this, but it's really loud in my ear. Um, I wonder if it counts as two contracts, right? Because I'm confirming this contract, but I also have this contract. So technically, that would be two contracts. Um, let's see here. Oops. Back to the hub. Back to the hub. Um, 
Okay, so complete contract, 54%. So in theory, I've got 54 done. If this works after I pick up the litter, it should say 56. Remind me, because I'm probably going to forget to look. <laughs> Real talk. All right, so uh, as you guys might remember, I just have to run around. Can I got to remember which button is run? Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so it looks like the draw distance glitch still works, or exploit, if you will. You can see things off in the distance, which is super handy. Some more up there on the corner, too. Uh, okay, so I need two, three more. I can math, I can math, I can math. That's right, there's no jump. Got spoiled with the power wash sim having jump. Something's probably back behind me over here in the corner or something. No. There it is. Sweet. All right, so, so far I have remembered. Let's see if I can continue to remember. All right, so I got $40. Cleaning that up. Yep, yep. Okay, accept. Okay, now let's go back to my trophies, huh? Hmm. So it looks like it only counted as one, right? But it did count as one. I mean, right? <laughs> it's supposed to. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> um, all right. So let's go back to... Do we have uh, more trash? No trash. So actually going to have to mow. Boo. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you're going to have to cut the grass tomorrow, huh? All right. It's training field. So does any of this look like the new... Eco, like it should be like tents and like there should be new stuff. Like, I don't think the eco updates made it to the PlayStation yet. Like, the last tweet that I saw said available now on Steam or PC and Xbox coming to PlayStation soon. That was like two weeks ago, so I don't know how soon is soon, but um, all right, this one is I'll go ahead and mow this one, right? No general cut, okay, cool, cool, cool hate the stripey ones. Not into that. Let somebody else do that. Okay, what's the most highest paying? I want to get looted to the two. All right, so that's first one. All right. Good to go. I thought I had more than one employee. All right. So let's uh, see if I can remember how to do this. Oh, yeah. Ground check. Do not skip. Uh, go check. Now there are a few trophies from both of the DLCs that I do not have yet. I, I specifically I have not looked at them to see what they are. Oh, I see you. Six mo, six mo. I see one right there. I thought I saw one back over here too. Great in here. Yeah. Oh, it's further back. There it is. That one was hidden pretty good. So without the draw distance, it's actually really hard to see these. Little one right over here. So FOMO. Okay, so there's one right there and right there. Basically, when I get to this one, I should be able to cut over. Grab this one. Was there a third one? Nah. Yeah, I was going to say, there's got to be one in here, right? Anybody do anything special this weekend? Have anything to report? I went and saw my grandma. Like, I'm terrified now. My, uh, my mother-in-law has been sick this as of this morning. And um, doesn't feel good, and and we 
gave her a COVID test. I don't think she's taken one yet. Um, oh man, I'm going to feel like the worst human being ever if somehow we have COVID again. Like, I don't, that's not how I feel at all. Right. Like I, but I mean, different people handle it differently. And like, I've just had it recently. Maybe I wouldn't feel it this, I don't know, but I'm so hoping that, um, I'm not sick. Like sinus infection. Sure. I can't pass that on. That's me. Um, but I'm hoping like I don't have something because I went and saw a grandma, my 95 year old grandma yesterday, and I saw my 80 year old grandma on Saturday. <sighs> Boy, that's still loud up in there. Um, all right. So, all right. I'll be back for that. The Royal Stones. The royal stones are clean, your highness. Coming to America? It's not quite the line, but it's close. So, I do remember... Yeah. A little less aggressive with the sounds for everybody, too, huh? I noticed on the eco update, too, there's, like, different speed controls, too. There's, like... I don't know, something different, something new. Let's see here, and how... Where is... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm trying to figure out what button it is that... Um, that does the... Um, shows me that I thought it was clicking on the analogs but it's not showing me the mo like show me the mo me you know cutting wrong height oh how have I been doing that the whole time crap seven to eight I'm six so I went too low at some point okay well, hopefully I don't get docked too bad for that no game sounds at all, huh? Hmm. I see it. I clicked I clicked on it. It was like grayed out and I clicked on it and it like lit up. I had to restart the PC this morning already. So you guys can hear it now? You have people mowing out your window. That's hilarious. There's no sound for that. So you're like, you like, I got I got audio. What do you mean, Kirsten? I can hear oh, never mind. It's just outside. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Sound is there. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that. I talked to Paz this morning on the phone. Our phones have got all wacky, too. I don't know what was up with that. Like, all of a sudden, he just... I couldn't hear him. The call didn't drop. I just couldn't hear him. I don't know if he could hear me or not. I never asked that when we finally got back on. Then for, like, five minutes, we tried to call each other. Neither of our phones would even, like, attempt to dial. I don't know what was going on. And then finally it rang, and, um, and we got on. Oh, no! Sorry about your flowers. All right, so I think we're good. It looks like my engine condition is already messed up. I don't know if that's from previous mows or what. I'm still not... Okay, so... Control settings. Oh, that's not what I want, though. I want... Hmm. Doesn't show me, like, the actual controller settings. I just want to know what button it is that, uh, it's not up, it's not L1, it's not R1, it's not L2 or R2. I thought it was one of the analogs. It is. Why wasn't that working? I've been saying I needed a new controller for a while. I was pressing and holding for 10 seconds and it didn't do nothing 
and then like three times. It finally did it, so it's the right analog. As opposed to the wrong analog. <laughs> oh, man. Even with a headache, I still got bad jokes. Nothing can stop me. <laughs> yeah, the wife and I started watching Peaky Blinders this weekend. We're like almost to the first season. Seasons are fairly short, sort of. I mean, they're hour-long episodes, and there's six episodes per. So, I mean, depending on how you look at it, that's kind of short for a season. Or, you know, some of those shows have like 10, 12 episodes of half hours. So, I mean, it's about pretty standard, really. Uh, boy, I'm taking a beat. I probably should have got the string trimmer out for this. Um, I think I can repair my engine on the go, though. I'm like 99% sure. Okay, in this corner, I'm going to do a... Oh! Okay, I'm going to do it a little different, but never mind. Ooh. It's kind of like... A butt crack stay on this side of the cleftal horizon it's the technical term if you didn't know the scientific Peaky Blinders is definitely crazy weird my wife's been wanting to watch it forever, and there's a show coming up on, I don't remember what channel, I think it's Epix or HBO or something, one of our cable channels, and it's called like Rogue Squadron or Rogue something, and it, it looks really funny. It's like a comedy about war. Like I've referred to it already sort of as like a mash of current times kind of a thing, um, sort of. I mean, that's kind of the principle behind it, I think. But ultimately, um, it just looks funny to me. And so when I found out that the same people that did that show did Peaky Blinders, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm a little more interested than I once was. And so uh, we went ahead and uh, started watching it. I think we got to episode either three or well, four, I think. I think we got through four. That was a weird line with how that was down there. I won't lie. I was trying to do the outline of the area, but, but I thought it split into two. Nah, it does not split into two. But I've now officially split it into two. And I'll just do this area with string trimmer. Why not? I don't know that I've ever mowed on this area before. I don't necessarily remember it so far. I do remember a handful of the newer DLCs, and I don't remember this being one. It's, it's, I probably did, but. And I do wish that there was like a set it speed so I could like hit it at two miles an hour and rock it at two miles an hour, like cruise control, right? Right now, my finger's got to be about 12% of the trigger pull. <laughs> and we've been doing it for seven minutes. I got, like, hours ahead of me. This will probably take us all the way through the first BRV, huh? Although I'm already 3.5. Hey, 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 hey. None of that. That's twice I mowed that and it didn't mow. What the crap? Must just be a funny angle of laying down. It's grass and mowing looks all the same. <laughs> yeah, but just the layout with the rocks and stuff, like... I guess I can't really, from this camera view, see it.
Man, I wish my sinuses would just like drop and like clear up. I don't know what the crap. I don't know why they always gotta be jokes. I'm sure, like I've said before, I'm sure it's something in my environment that causes it, whether it's a heater or just dust, pet, I mean, who knows? It, it really happens in the winter time. Like I don't really experience sinus stuff much in summer, a little bit in the spring when uh, allergies really kick up, but not so much in summer. It's really only in the winter. I'm getting the 144 pixel rig. Nice. I need some spicy food, yeah. I need some of that, um, what do they call it? Um, it's like atomic gum or something like that, which is for sinuses. It, so it, it's like um, super spicy. I think they have a sour one too, but like, um, yeah, they have it for sinuses. Like you got clogged up sinuses, chew our gum. I don't know that I want my mouth and bottle on fire though or whatever all the time. Or I don't know if it's like minty or like spicy or yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I definitely need something. Like I was fine when I woke up, like something kicked in after I got up. What, you know, I didn't really like do anything crazy. Drex, I mean, it's raining like mad outside so he won't really go outside or anything so I'm like you know I mean I've been outside a little bit but not really just standing at the door it's cold out there I wonder if I can speed this up a little bit I'm going almost a full mile an hour faster Yeah, I mean, 55 contracts. So I got 45 contracts left for that trophy. And I mean, a, a significant amount, probably 15 or 20 of them will be uh, trash. Trash. Right? But um, that's still a lot. That's a lot. Look, even my even my driver's like, no, no, stop, stop, don't do it, Brian. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Overloading my engine. I wonder. I think I can. Can't isn't this? Nope. What the crap did I get off? Oh. <laughs> okay, now I got... Whatever. Let's get it back on. There we go. I was trying to get off. I, I mean, I couldn't figure out the, uh, the button to ping the grass earlier, and I got off like six... Six. I see if I hit up on the D-pad or down on the D-pad... It changes my height. That's how it happened earlier. So up and down on the D-pad are not helpful buttons for anything other than my, my height. Uh, a little fun fact for you. Left and right, uh, I believe right is the throttle up and left is throttle down. Uh, it's gotta be something else. Triangle is like standard get in and out of vehicle button, but it, that didn't work. Make it a little easier swoop around that Kona. I mean, hey, I'm almost seven 
0.8% done. Jeez. That's a lot of grass. Hey, what's up, Borna? Welcome to the stream. We got some slow mo streaming going today. Not really slow mo, but it's slow going for show. Bo show. I, I I don't have plans to play God of War. I do not. We are gonna check out some new releases in the next week or two. That is not one that's on my list. I got, uh, definitely got plans to play Sonic Frontiers. Definitely got plans to play Goat Sim 3. Definitely got plans to play Need for Speed Unbound. But at this time, we don't have any plans to play God of War. The game looks fun. Yes, I said it. I did say it. Uh, but I also know that there's a lot of, like, RPG elements to the game that in the last one I hated. Now, they may have improved. It may be way smoother, easier, better on Brian, but, um, but I mean, I, 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 a couple of the reviewers tagged it and said, you know, it looks good, but you can immediately tell within the first 20 minutes that you're playing a PS4 game skinned as a PS5 game. And, and what they mean by that is just like, there's a lot of load times. There's a lot of graphical, uh, everything is simplified and, and not as uh, current as it could have been. Now, does that mean it looks terrible? No, it doesn't mean that at all. It looks probably pretty good. Um, but I just, I don't know that it's just not on my day one list for sure. I know uh, Brad and a few others are definitely hyped for it. I think Kirsten's going to get it and play it, I think. He doesn't play good games. <laughs> Need for Speed isn't a good game. Sonic Frontiers isn't a good game. Goat Simulator isn't a good game. Come on. I don't, I'm not really like an RPG guy. And although I, I'm not trying to classify God of War as an RPG. Like I said, it has a lot of RPG elements to it that... Yeah, the menus on menus, like, same with, like, it's kind of why I don't like playing the, uh, um, Borderlands games anymore. Like, everything just got super, like, there's so many choices and skill trees and different things. It's like, it's crazy. It's crazy! Gameplay is still probably pretty fun. And, I, and I'm not saying I won't ever play God of War Ragnarok. I mean, if it goes on sale or it becomes free or something, I'm definitely interested. But I don't have a spot for it in my schedule right now. Listen to me. Definitely be playing it. Finally got it yesterday, so I can... Got it yesterday. Let me do the pre-down. Ah, gotcha. Preload. You pre-ordered. Gross. Blech. I mean, technically, Sonic Frontiers isn't out yet. But it's out today. We just grabbed it today. But, uh... Yeah, I mean couple days before the game release isn't really considered a pre-order to me it's like a last minute <laughs> before the game comes out order um, when I when I always shame or talk about why I don't pre-order it largely has to do with like like you know when a game gets announced people run out and put their money down on it and pre-order it like two years before the game's even out once they get all that you know projection it usually puts a lot of extra pressure on the, on the devs, which then forces them to release games that are unfinished, broken, or whatever. That's my reason for that. When you buy two days before, it's not really a projection for them. It's not like they're relying on that. It's not really 
making the publisher want them to push the game out sooner, right? Like, they're happy to see the money and the order come in, but it's not changing anything for their marketing or any of that, right? Like, the expectation is still the same. The game still comes out on the same day. Is it tomorrow night, Kirsten? That's cool. Game comes out on Wednesday? That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. I mean, typically games don't have a release date anymore. You know, Nintendo started doing like the Friday releases a while ago, you know, and then after that happened, all of a sudden you started seeing, and every once in a while you'd see like a special game like Grand Theft Auto or something like that release on a Friday. Something big would release on its own day. Uh, but I, I noticed a lot of uh, like Nintendo titles seem to be the ones that I saw the most on their independent schedules. But now it's like any day, any game, whatever. It's coming out Sunday. Why Sunday? I don't know. You know, like... <laughs> And it's another father-son tale. I mean, I don't, I don't know much about the story or whatever. I've seen some visuals, but uh, you know, but nothing big time. Is there going to be a button for boy again? Boy, boy. Did you guys just lose audio too, or is that just my headset? Like I lost everything for a second there. The birds weren't chirping. <laughs> Boy, 15%. Just me, huh? All right. Well, that's good. Every once in a while, my headset sort of like, I don't know if it like restarts or like, I don't know what it does. Loses connection for a second. Doesn't happen often, but like every once in a while, it does. Get up. got like a sliver of this place even really mapped out yet, huh? Jeez. The grass is pretty tall, really. Okay, so triangle is the view. But it does have a purpose. A poipus. such a weird turner. It's good though, it turns accurately. Did I get that? Yeah. Turns on a dime. Hey. Yeah, all right, it's working, it's working. I'll take it. 
Like, I want to risk it a little bit more and, and, like, have my line eat up a little more grass so that I don't have to make as many passes. But the second I start to, like, get right on that ledge, all of a sudden I'm missing some on my right. And then I'm finding, instead of speeding up, it's actually causing me to have to go back and do more. It's like my apex aim. It gets a little out of control at times. Tyler's already typing. At times... Oh, and by the way, that clip you sent me was hilarious. As soon as I heard the voice, I, I for whatever reason, when I clicked the link, the, the screen was really small, and I couldn't really see the names. So, And I didn't hear you at all, but I heard Zach, and I thought, is that? And then I, I full-screened it and got it 720 or whatever, you know, so I could see all the... I was like, all right, so it is people I know. And then, like, I was like, okay, Caustic's going crazy. It must be, like, a Caustic win or something. And then all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. They both get launched out of that cannon. <laughs> oh, man. I laughed pretty good. Yeah. No, that was hilarious. And, like I said to you, it just seems like something that I say would happen to me, but it's more of that I would accidentally do, right? Because it didn't really happen. It, they, they sort of made it happen. <laughs> oh. Got a little off topic there. I saw a dragon purchased uh, God of War and I almost crashed my mower. <laughs> what? No, I'm just kidding. So have a lot of play with the rat boys. Yeah, you didn't look like you were ratting it up though. Not in that video. Nom, Nom hates ratting it up. He like runs everywhere. He don't care. It's like, I ain't squatting. They can't hear me. I guess they can. <laughs> it's like, I don't take damage. They don't hear me. They don't see me. Technically, I'm not here. And I get that he's used to that with his height and all, but. Oh! Twenty percent, yeah. Oh, this is definitely not as forgiving as Power Washer was. Whoops. So what do I need? I need a. Uh... Wait a minute. Okay, contract should be oh, there. It is. Uh, completion target ninety nine percent. That's not so bad. Ninety nine point nine or whatever. Those are the worst. 1% doable. Yeah, I made it to level 5 on the Battle Pass tier on Friday with the stream. Have not played since. So I'm still on level 5. Hoping I get some go at it this week, but I do have a pretty busy schedule lined up. Inside and out of stream. Blazers play a bunch of Blazer games at night, so my evenings are pretty well booked. I also got Lego Star Wars. I'm trying to, like, wrap up the free roam. There's only, like, four more, I think, four more free roam areas. I have planets to, or uh, space areas to do, too. Uh, but as far as, like, planetary exploration, pretty much getting into those final couple levels... I think I gotta do Mos Eisley next, and then I gotta go do either Best Spin or, or maybe it is, I don't remember. I got it all mapped out, I got it all figured. That was a nice little whoop de woo through there. Is that uncut grass? No, of course not. Why watch the Blazers? Bro. Seriously? We didn't have our best two players and we beat you. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, you could say, oh, well, we won the second game. Yeah, but you lost the series. So that's Portland's already beat your son. The only two losses you have this season are to the Blazers. Like, what? Why watch them? Because they're fun to watch. They actually play defense. It's weird. It's kind of a new thing. That was definitely not part of the Terry Stotts era. It's 
Suns ain't going anywhere. Uh, well, right now they're number one in the West. And you can talk them down all you want so that you don't have to, like, look bad later. But, I mean, they're looking to be one of the tougher teams to beat this year. And Cam Johnson's out right now. And they're still playing at a high level. And Cam Payne's out, too. Both your cams are out. And you're still winning games. That's pretty impressive. I mean, it certainly ain't going to be the Lakers winning the championship. I'm not saying that to take a shot at Kirsten. I'm saying that because the Lakers are just, unfortunately, really bad this season. So far, anyway, his first eight, nine games, they've been terrible. Yeah, they choked the last two years. I mean, so what? They made it, made it pretty far. And maybe they'll learn from those lessons and move on. Maybe their personnel isn't made to be there. I don't know. I mean, I... It's weird not having to completely de depend on Damian Lillard as a Blazer fan, right? Like, we've got so much other hustle, more scores like Jeremy Grant. We didn't have anybody like that before, you know? And, I mean, Josh Hart. I mean, look at all the hustle and plays that he made. I mean, it's crazy. We didn't have anybody like that before. And, I mean, I don't – no disrespect to CJ, but that trade was really good for Portland, you know? And New Orleans probably is doing all right, too, with CJ. But Josh Hart, that was a big win for Portland. People laugh. Ha, ha, ha. It's Josh Hart. Duh. Yeah, well, he's a winner at Villanova. He played hard everywhere he goes, so it's all we can ask for. I don't think they'll blow up the Suns until Paul's done. Once Paul's done, or if Aiton wants out or something. I, you know, the other night, that first loss, the very first loss... You guys had to us, like, so like 10, two weeks ago, whenever it was, 10 days ago. At the very end of the game, one of your players, I can't remember his name, Lan Lansing, Lan Lanson, or something like He's one of your, he's the backup center. Um, he had a chance and he, like, put the board, he got, grabbed a board and, like, shot and he missed. And, like, when he missed, the camera pans over and shows Aiden, and Aiden's just grinning ear to ear. I mean, Aiton just missed a free throw that caused them to, you know, he had to rim shot that ball, and the buddy grabbed it and tried to put it back, and he missed. And he's like, he was like excited that they lost. That was weird to me. Um, and so I don't know what's up with him. And I know there was some turbulence last year between him and Monty. I, but I would see Monty going before the player. That's usually how it goes. Usually the coach goes before the player. I mean, look at Steve Nash. Nash got fired because of stuff that Kyrie Irving said and did. And now Kyrie Irving's on the chopping block. Like, Nash should still be there. Although, should he? I don't know. It's a weird series of events. We live in a weird world, that's for sure. Ooh, I'm like halfway out of gas already. I was waiting for it to... <laughs> nope. Now they done, maybe... Nah, I don't know, man. I think you get your cams back. You guys will be all right. Never know until you go. Portland's like championship or bust mentality. I, I don't know if they've got what it takes. Right now, defensively, they're up there. But I mean, there's a lot that could happen between now and them. A lot of injury, a lot of whatever. But I mean, you start looking around the league, like Kawhi's not playing. Pascal Siakam's out for two weeks now. Harden's out for two weeks because of an ankle injury. Like all these big time players are not playing for their teams for days, weeks, months. It's anybody's league. Look at the Warriors. The Warriors are terrible. They're wanting to make a trade. They're wanting to get rid of Wiggins now. Wiggins is like their best player right now besides Curry. Makes no sense to me, but whatever. They're not signing Thompson to an extension either. Oof. As Clay Thompson, I would be so hurt, man. So hurt. It's crazy out there.
So you guys gonna want me to do a live stream? Hook up like a GoPro to my pressure washer when I get it back so I can do like a live pressure wash stream? You guys can watch me clean my driveway. Hopefully that wasn't super loud. Probably was. Wondering if like my glasses being removed would help. I mean, I got that pressure on my like sinuses and my nose and stuff. Then I probably won't be able to see very well. I can actually see pretty good for the most part without these glasses. At least on my TV right here. Driving at night and stuff? No way. Uh... If it's the end of a long stream, if I'm really tired or whatever, my eyes do get pretty fatigued and the glasses really do help. But right now I'm wondering if this pressure on my nose is making things worse. I will drive 14 hours today. <laughs> hey, I got, a, I got a pressure washer to take care of it, bro. Just don't hit the cars. Just don't hit the cars. Yeah, I don't know how the GoPros work, like if I can streamline those wirelessly or not. You know, with the collaborative cam feature that they added, that might be something that I could do. Bring it in as a webcam from a different source. I'm not sure, though. I'm pretty sure that the GoPros do have a live stream feature, but I think the way it works is it's through the device. So, like, instead of being able to use Streamlabs and, and anything that... It would use its own stuff, which could be good or bad for what I, you know. If it wasn't gross and rainy, I could probably hover the drone above me, start it off, and then have a drone drone cam. Thirty percent, so I'm almost one third of the way done. Did <sighs> feels good to be back on the mower. That was close. And again, I'll probably bring the string trimmer out here and whip that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like mildly excited to get my power washer back. I know that sounds weird, but that's how I used to wash my car. I have that foam cannon. Haven't been able to foam my car in over a year. Over a year, man. It's just easier to wash. Helps drag all the dirt down too without scratching, you know, often like mitts will get the dirt on it and then when you go to like wash it'll scratch so i mean it's not a perfect science but i mean the, the foam is heavy it sort of drags most of the bigger dirt chunks down it's noise my car's old though i mean it's 10 plus years old so paint's not perfect But I try to keep it clean. Especially from eggings. <laughs> see here, it says it's 73 in here. I wonder if it's out of my turn the AC down a little bit. And see if I can chill it out. Often when the hot air gets up here, it just gets stuffy. Maybe if I cool it off, it'll help my pressure. Because I got to be honest, it's it's not getting any better. And I mean, on a headache scale, it's probably like a four and a half to five. That's pretty bad. 
it's not enjoyable. It's definitely preventing any thinking. Yeah, that hot, dry air just like, and again, it just might be picking up dust or something too, but you know, when you have a headache, having something ride right along one of your pressure points for that, glasses on my nose, or, or headphones on your, squeezing your little, pinch your little head, um, you know, definitely not ideal. Like I said, I did pop some Advil prior to the stream start. I was hoping to catch some relief from that, but I don't know, you guys. I'm at least in till the BRB, folks. show, no questions asked. Hopefully by then it'll be inside. Like my whole right side, like literally shifted about 20, 30 minutes before stream. And all of a sudden I can't breathe through it. You know, I there's definitely like certain lotions and creams and things that like I'm allergic to that get used around here uh, that that could have something to do with it too Chacho is back what up bro hopefully your appointment went well didn't miss much, just 34% of mowage. And me complaining about a headache. Uh -huh. Not much else. Yeah, and that that could be you know related obviously like we've been kind of going back and forth with our weather patterns here you know sort of like dry wet dry wet dry so i mean there's definitely like some barometer stuff going on too uh, you know and i'm just what for whatever reason really susceptible to sinus infections and i don't want to say that's what i have but i mean i don't know that it's not what i have you know what i mean i guess day three now but it's also been kind of coming and going so like like I said yesterday was pretty mellow I, I didn't really have much of an issue yesterday Saturday I had to go back to bed I woke up slept in a little bit woke up like at 7 45 8 o'clock by 8 30 I was back in bed I was like no thank you change my fan to blow sort of more directly at me too might help keep it breezy in here although it aimed right at me I feel like somehow it's not even on oh no there it is I feel it it's just on low Good, good. Going too fast. Blade's getting kind of worked now, too. Anybody else grabbing Sonic Frontiers? It's so different than like traditional Sonics, but 
I'm not sure how different it really is. Like, it basically looks like they just added an area in between some of the levels to, I don't know. Like, I've seen some of it, like the bosses, how the bosses just kind of seamlessly are available to play. That's kind of cool. There's definitely some, some cool stuff. Uh, the visual of the, the world looking like Zelda is a huge turnoff for me. But I think it'll play significantly different, so uh, we'll see. Like I said, Reese will be firing it up tonight right at 9 and playing his first go. And as long as I fill up for it, I plan on streaming it for a couple hours tomorrow. and clean just like we like it. AC's not helping much yet. It did drop at one degree. It's now 72 in here. It says 38% humidity. I feel like that's high. Yeah, we got some snow yesterday too, but it was it didn't stick. It just sort of was flaky. Kind of like me. Definitely going to need to refuel my fuel. Refill my fuel. Let's see if that helps. There's a lot of wonka do turnarounds the last few goes. Uh, that was not the plan. Or was it? Not for now, huh, Chacho? There's another one of those corners. It's a guana. A corner that's a guana. So hopefully I got that sorted for now anyways. Oh wait, there's this one too. Well, that was a weird bird noise. I don't think I've heard that bird before. That just tried milkshake. Well, you just tried a milkshake? Or wait, what? What happened? Just 
just tried a milkshake for the first time. Like, really? You just had your... Is that... Am I reading that right? Oh, I love milkshakes. They're bad for my belly. Not only my waistline, but my internals, but... I like them. I eat, I drink them. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Messages coming in on my phone. Could just be voting stuff. It's like last-ditch effort for voting stuff. Tomorrow's the big day to have your votes in. Oh, milk deserves a good shaking from time to time. I wonder if you can run this thing out of fuel and if it hurts the tractor, you know, like, or the mower. Maybe. Sometimes. Why do you make my stomach hurt so bad? Stuff going on downstairs. Reese must be doing something. Hey. Right. Tried playing this game, you were horrible at it, huh? Requires patience and some planning ahead. Following a guide might help. I should probably follow a guide a little more. I'm sure I'm going to make some purchases that are out of order or slow my overall growth down. Maybe. Alright, so I'm almost out of fuel. I can't remember if I can... I think I have to be off of it. Nope. Okay. I don't know that I can fix the engine from here. That was the one thing. I think I have to put it back on the... What? Hey, I gotta go. Oh, what the crap? All oh, my stuff's gone on my. Is this gonna work? All right, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go check, see what's going on downstairs. A lot of thumping around.
All right. I am back. At least for the time being. I guess my mother in law is pretty sick. Reese was actually helping her with some water and stuff. And he's getting ready to do an interview. So, um, yeah, we definitely have something going on in our house. Like, I'm not feeling up to par. She's not feeling, she's sick, sick, she said. So, uh, I'm just trying to stay clear and uh, get my mo on. All right. Um, get on vehicle. Fire it up. Throttle it up. So engine condition cannot be messed with while here. I, I think it can be messed with once it's on the truck. But uh, I'm going to try to finish this one up before. And then due to circumstances, I'm probably going to cut it at the halfway point, guys. I My headache's not getting any better. It sucks. And not only, like, does it suck and it hurts, I feel like, you know, I'm sort of a bummer to listen to complaining about a headache, so. I know, I'm always a bummer to listen to, regardless of headache being the topic or not, but. Yeah, it's just so stupid hot up here. Like, I mean, 72 isn't hot, but it's stuffy, and it feels warmer than 72. And I just bumped my Dyson fan up even higher now, so hopefully that'll chill it out, but. You know, my mother-in-law is upstairs cold, and I'm up here boiling, you know, so it's like we're trying to find the middle point. It's crazy to think I'm not even halfway done yet. I've been mowing for about an hour, huh? I mean, 53 minutes, I guess it tells me right there. Still not even 50%. Holy God. Yeah, if there's money to be made, they'll do it. Usually. Those games had to be purchased at some point. If anything, it's helping Game Stops and resellers more than it probably is, but it's also helping the consumer, right? Like, if you are able to play your old games on one console, it just simplifies things. Like, for me, if I want to play a PS2 game, I got to pull out a PlayStation 2. If I want to stream it, I got to hook up all sorts of different equipment to get it to work because my current capture card doesn't have the receiving connectability to receive that type of connection and, like... There's all sorts of stuff. So, I mean, if I can play PS2 games right from the PS5, that would be super handy for me. Now, not everybody needs that or wants that. But in my case, like, I would buy a PS5 Pro or whatever if, if it could do that stuff. I'd love that. If I could put my old discs in, PS2, PS3. And that's like SOCOM, right? SOCOM, all my SOCOM discs would play. Uh, I got some other stuff, too. Old Grand Theft Autos like Vice City and San Andreas and... Uh, you know, I got some old PS2 stuff laying around. I also have some PS1 games like Die Hard. You know, I'd love to play Die Hard again, even though it's a pretty terrible game comparatively to what we have today. But uh, no thinking. Wait, next year go. What? What's up there, P Donk? Not sure what you mean by that.
It's Florida. Teflon, I'm taking Florida out. Bye. <laughs> kind of look like Florida. Yeah, Die Hard had the three different ways you could play it. Like the three different modes. It was like the, kind of like the, I don't know if it was first person or third person shooter. I can't remember, but it was like a, you ran around in the Nakatomi Plaza taking out the bad guys. There was the sniper one that was like a scope, kind of like a silent scope game. Um, and then there was the vehicle one where you were running around in the taxi throughout the town trying to stop the bombs. It was cool. I had fun playing that game. Graphics and the, uh, you know, the overall gameplay is, like I said, is very primitive, very mundane and boring now, but it was a fun game. I'm looking for a, uh, I want to find an unopened Xbox One Lego Dimension starter kit. I, uh, I found one on eBay Buddy wants like 150 for it. That's not too bad considering it was only a hundred. It was a hundred bucks brand new. So 150 unopened. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, so I might pick that up. Start playing that again. Streaming that a couple like a day a week or something. I'd have to figure out something for the the portal though, because like my Xbox is kind of across the room and. Uh, yeah, I'd have to get like a USB extension or something going. I might be able to put them on like a part or something behind me. They might reach. almost got this side done you know I kind of had like the two sides turns out it is about halfway right if you look I'm 50.8 percent I hate to do this guys I am miserable though. I need to lay down. I'm gonna call it. I'm halfway. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to get better so we can return tomorrow for Sonic Frontiers. Guys, I'm really sorry. But have yourself a wonderful Monday. Enjoy your day. I'm gonna try to get some rest and get gooder. Uh if you haven't already, please check out happythumbsgaming.com. We also have social media if you're into that kind of thing. Would love to see you over there. And uh, yes, guys, as for me, like I said, I'm going to try to get gooder. As always, until next time. Salute!